Hello and welcome to this session. In this session we will see a practical example including both ADC and PWM. You can see here we have a potentiometer connected to A0 and an LED connected to pin number 3. And you can see pin number 3 is a PWM output. You can see there is a tilde mark there. Uh, I hope you remember all our sessions where we have seen all these uh, pins which have this uh, tilde at the beginning they are PWM outputs. So pin number 3 is a PWM output and the next probe of LED is connected to ground. And why we need this 100 ohm register this is a 100 ohm register because to protect LED. So the potentiometer is 10 kilo ohm and from end to end it measures 10 kilo ohm register. So when we connect end to end to um, 5 volts and ground, you can interchange these probes, doesn't matter. So end to end voltage will be 5 volts. And while uh, changing this knob, the center point which is connected to knob uh, will change this uh, resistance and you get a different resistance at every uh, turn. So from end to end, you, have, you get 5 volts and when you turn the knob at the center point when you measure with respect to ground you get uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and in between values also. So it's a continuous knob like your audio knob in your audio player. So when you move to the extreme right you, are get, you will get the full that is 5 volts and when you are at center you get 2.5 and at, when you are at extreme left you get 0. Right. So this way we are actually uh, using this as an analog input. So by rotating the knob we will get different voltages at different rotations. Now coming to the circuit. This is our live feed. So here you can see we have a potentiometer connected. This one and of course our LED. It's the same connection what we have seen in our Fritzing diagram. Okay, so let's get started. So let me resize this window and bring my Arduino. So in Arduino, you can directly guess what we have to do. It's very very simple program, yet interesting though because you will you will see both ADC and PWM in action. So pin mode definitely three comma of course output pin mode A zero. It's an analog input so input and also I want to know uh, we want to know how this uh, analog voltage read from uh, analog read function is so let's let's view the output voltage in serial monitor for that you know what to do serial dot begin default baud rate bits per second 9600 coming to loop so let me put a variable so what we have to do is we have to collect the samples from our potentiometer so our potentiometer will give samples to a0 so digital sorry analog analog read a0 and we will collect these samples in a variable say int uh, digital samples so these are analog read which are converted into digital samples and okay so so let me add a small comment here because it's an analog read and we know it's a 10 bit analog read just to make sure we remember that so 10 bit ADC uh, up to how many samples 1024 so let's quickly view what we have here in serial 
dot println digital samples so what we will get here will be uh, the analog conversion from analog conversion to digital conversion in our serial prompt so let me upload the program control u to upload oh, I added a colon instead of semicolon and it's done so let's get into the serial monitor and here you can see the outputs 0 0 okay so it's good idea to add some delay so let's say 100 millisecond So now I will slowly rotate this potentiometer and you can see the values changed. So now we are we are at 300 almost 300 that means we are not halfway mark. So let me rotate further now it's almost 512 that is halfway mark that means we are at the center point and I'm going till last so what will be the last one one zero two three so this is the maximum voltage right because this is the last one maximum and the minimum is zero so in between you get the in between values so what is the voltage equivalent of one zero two three analog voltage input 5 volts and okay you can expect this to be something like at the middle you will be around 7.5 or sorry 2.5 so at 512 you get 2.5 something correct so this is the uh, analog input and now we have to change the brightness of LED uh, based on this input. So let me close this window and so let's get into the other part of the programming. Now this is important see you have to understand here we have a 10-bit ADC but 8-bit PWM. So 10-bit ADC shows the values up to 1024 and 8-bit PWM will only uh, vary from 0 to 255 because 8 bit is 256 2 raised to power 8 is 256 2 raised to power 10 is 1024 so the values which we will um, direct to analog write so first of all we have to convert these values into um, PWM compatible scale so how do we do that so we have our integer digital samples so this we have to digital samples we have to divide it by 4 to get uh, in the range of 256 so what is maximum 1024 so 1024 divided by 4 is 256 so 256 is the scale for PWM so now whatever 1023 sorry 1024 is will become 250 5 right 1023 or 24 they are almost same don't worry about it so if I say 1024 it will be 256 if I say 1023 it means 255 so let's not get into that confusion it's same don't worry so when we read from 0 it's 2 to uh, 1023 and the total numbers are 1024 anyway not not getting into that so digital samples divided by Four. so this will bring down the scale to PWM compatible so let's store this value in some integer let's say PWM samples okay and this PWM, PWM samples we will feed to analog right and what is our pin number 3 and we will put these samples here this is the syntax for analog write it takes the pin number and 
the PWM output. So, okay, so let's get started. Let me upload it. Okay, so let me open the serial monitor. So we are almost at uh, halfway mark, you can say. So this PWM output is from digital input, okay, digital samples. It's not PWM equivalent. Uh, so let me, okay, so let's do for PWM samples. Control U to upload. So the PWM equivalent is 122. So half a mark is 127. So this is close enough. So let me turn the knob. And you can see the value goes to and brightness of LED also increases. So it's a max brightness is 255. So now we are at 255. So let me do a anti-clockwise turn and you can see the brightness is reduced, even reduced, sorry, it's uh, 72. You might have seen 255 in between because this is a loose connection because I have just used this pin to directly put into this potentiometer instead of soldering it. So that's why you got that reading. So otherwise it's a smooth reading you can see when it goes zero that means uh, PWM zero which means you already know it's a zero volt so PWM 255 is maximum which is uh, 5 volt in our case and zero is zero volts same as input when you read 1023 it's maximum that is 5 volts when you read uh, minimum that is zero it's a zero volt. So let me turn the knob again clockwise. Some reading, some reading, and likewise. I hope you understood this program. If not, okay, let me keep it here. So let me walk you through again real fast. Setup three setup for pin number three, A0, and serial begin. And in the loop, we have 10 bit ADC and uh, 8 bit PWM so 10 bit ADC reads the signal from potentiometer here is our potentiometer and we are reading this signal into A0 pin so A0 pin analog read function returns number of digital equivalent samples for that analog voltage so those digital input uh, samples are collected here in this integer digital samples and those samples are of 1024 scale so that is 10 bit scale so we have to reduce it to 8 bit scale that is 256 so how do we get it so 1024 divided by 4 is 256 so we get pwm samples so pwm equivalent samples and this pwm equivalent samples we can directly feed to analog write which we have gracefully done here and pin number 3 is the pwm output you know this is tilde marked here tilde means it is compatible to uh, digital input output as well as PWM. Serial.println is just to see the debug information. You can press the serial monitor to view the serial input output. Delay 100 millisecond is just because to not make the processor busy all the time. That's it. Hope you understood this program. Uh, I did a bit more of explanation but it's okay. You can uh, understand well, I hope. That's all for this video. See you in next.